it's hammer time. More than 200 volunteers from all over the country came here to Yulee to build new homes for families in need. Some like Zoe Ward who traveled all the way from New Jersey to give back. The most I've used a hammer is to put in a couple of nails for a picture. This is all the walls, uh, framed walls for an entire eight houses, all the same design. So what it is is about a 1,200 square foot, three bedroom, two bath house. There's people here that are uh, that really have probably never swung a hammer in their life before. Uh, so it's it's been great. There's a lot of bent nails around. But the fact is, is uh, we're, we're doing something and uh, and they're having fun. I've never built a house before. Ward admits she's an amateur. Does this go square? I nail these together. I'm going to try to show that, that I'm not frustrated. And on top of that, it's raining. We're kind of learning as we go along. We've had to take things apart a couple of times. So it's been a, it's been trial by error for sure. Thankfully, Habitat COO Roger Cordy was there. You need me? He's one of a dozen captains assisting each group with construction. So we got five and five eights. We got those right there. Cordy says free labor from these volunteers helps them get the most bang for their buck, providing more homes and resources for people in need. Hey, come on, baby. That's Ward using that hammer. After some help and direction, she got the hang of it. Oh, there we go. It's easy. I get it. She says the hard work was worth it. It is just an amazing experience to be able to contribute to this whole entire organization. I mean, look at all the people that are out here. In addition to building, these volunteers are also stuffing care packages with things like soap and toothpaste, and they're going to be given to the homeless and veterans in our area. There's so many folks that are in need, and to be able to give back uh, right here, even in our own, our own country, in our own community, uh, it's phenomenal. At the end of the day, 7,000 kits were made, and the frames for eight homes were constructed and packed up. They'll be completed later this summer. Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.